Hey everyone, Robin here from Altcoin Edge and in this video, which is specifically made for the Nodal community and anyone else interested in Polkadot, I'll show you how to set up a Polkadot wallet um, so you can freely navigate the Polkadot ecosystem and participate in crowd loans without the hassle of bumping into issues or having to read hard to understand articles and guides. At the end of this small series, you won't only be able to use Polkadot um, with confidence, but you will also know a way how to earn referral rewards without having a referral code from someone else for the parity and slot auctions. So let's get started. So first we want to go to a website called, called polkadot.gs.org and this is kind of a hub for all kind everything Polkadot. I mean, they have documentations for developers, there is even resources for the community, but what we are after here is one, the extension, there's a browser extension fold for management of all your account keys and it's supposed to be used alongside a wallet apps. UI uh, and obviously then uh, Polkadot Wallet. So let's go there first. And once we're there, you can see that this extension can be downloaded for Chrome or it can be downloaded for Firefox. Uh, I'll choose some Firefox now. I have it already on Chrome. So uh, to show you guys how it looks, but it's the same principle. So the extension is now added. You can see it here on the top right, right side where it's very similar to uh, Chrome extensions like MetaMask and it creates an account and it creates a 12 word mnemonic uh, seed. And this seed you have to copy and save very securely. Uh, I always recommend to save it on multiple places. You can name your account here. So I will call this one Polkadot account one and you can create a password for it. So now this account is added. So now you've got an account here. You can create multiple accounts. So you can create a new name this right. So I've got two accounts now here, <clears throat> right? Another thing to notice is that you have three dots here where you can export your account and it will save a JSON file uh, for you to recover your account. So that's something you can do. Um, you can copy your account here and what you also can do is you can change the change. So now there it's by default set at allow use on any chain, but you can change it to, for instance, Polkadot. And then you will see here what your address is for Polkadot. Let's say I change it to Kusama. I will get it. It will generate a Kusama address, which is all linked to that account. So if someone would ask you, hey, what's your Kusama address? You can just change it here very easily um, to any of the, the para chains. But for now, allow use on any chain, right? So that's the extension sorted. And then next, we'll go to polka.gs.org. So we go back to the site and then we click on apps. As you can see, um, my extension kind of pops up. So you use your extension to confirm and to confirm transactions. So now I'm in basically the Polkadot ecosystem. And when I go to accounts, you will see that my two accounts are now injected from my extension into here, right? Um, one thing to notice that very often you see notification at settings. And often that means that there is an update under metadata. The, um, when you go over there, you see, upgradable extensions. The only thing you have to do is click here. It's a few seconds work. What will happen is that this pops up to confirm and boom, it's upgraded so fast. So you go back to your accounts. You got your two accounts here. Um, you don't see any balance, zero dot, zero dot, right? So next, what we need to do is get some dot here. But first I want to show you that you can also uh, change the power chains from here. So for instance, on Polkadot, we can change it to Moonbeam, for instance, or we can change it to Akala. And you can see that my two accounts are here with our Akala addresses. So if you click on that one of the accounts, you can see the address here, right? If you want to send money, 
you click on the button here, you send from one address to another address, confirm the amount. So this makes Polkadot interruptible. Now you can go from uh, the Polkadot ecosystem to Kusama Canary Chain. So let's go to Kusama and I switch here. Then there's uh, a disclaimer, something needs to be updated. So you go to settings, like I showed you before, metadata. And under here, you can see there's an upgradable extension. Then you will have to confirm the upgrade. So you can do it and it's upgraded. There are a lot of upgrades on um, the Polkadot and the Kusami ecosystem. As, uh, and it is because every time uh, some there is an improvement and can immediately be pushed into the network without forking the network. So definitely from Ethereum and other chains where uh, an entire blockchain because of its immutability has to be forked with any upgrade. With Polkadot uh, upgrades can be pushed through substrate straight. <clears throat> we go back to Polkadot, switch. So we switch from one chain to another chain. So now we're back in Polkadot and the thing that we need is money in uh, one of the accounts. So I'll take Polkadot account number one. I click on it. I see the address here. I copy that address. So this is one way of doing it, copying it, right? Or I go back to my extension, which is a, a vault that manages all my account keys. And here um, I go to the three dots and select the Polkadot really chain. So, and then I just click on this button, which then copied my address, so you don't have to highlight it and uh, copy it 